Alright, today we're going to work with graphing linear inequalities in two variables. And we'll go straight to an example. Let's say that we have 3x minus y is less than 2. This is a little bit different than what we've been doing the last couple days because now we have an x and a y in the equation. And the main thing we have to do first is we need to get the inequality in slope intercept form, which remember is y equals mx plus b. So we have to do a little bit of algebra on this problem to get it in slope intercept form. And um, we should know how to do that. Subtract 3x from both sides first. So we're just doing basic algebra to get this in slope intercept form. These 3x's go away. Now I have negative y is less than, I could say 2 minus 3x, but it's going to be better for us if we write it as negative 3x plus 2 so that it's more like slope intercept form. And I have one more step. I need to divide everything by negative 1, which we learned with an inequality. If I divide by a, pot, by a negative or multiply by a negative, then we have to flip the inequality. So this is now y is greater than 3x minus 2. And we've got it in slope intercept form. And so remember the number in front of x is my slope. In this case it's a whole number which means we think of it as 3 over 1. And my y-intercept is this number. And so we have everything that we need to graph this now. We always start at the y-intercept. So I need more room here. The y-intercept was negative 2. So we always start here at our y-intercept. And our slope was 3. So it was actually 3 over 1. So slope is change in y over change in x. So we're going to go up 1, 2, 3, and over 1 to this point right there. And we can do that again if we want. Up 1, 2, 3, and over 1. Now before we draw the line, we are working with inequalities. We don't always make a solid line. We need to add this to our notes. If I have greater than or less than without the equals, then we use a dashed line. We don't use a solid line if it's just greater than or less than. If it's greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, that's when we use a solid line because we are including everything on the line. So on this problem, we just had greater than. We didn't have greater than or equal to. So we're going to use a dashed line. So go through our points that we made and make a dashed line instead of a solid line. And just like before, we're going to do some shading. But this time you get to shade a lot. Because this inequality is talking about both y's and x's, 
and it's saying shade all of the Y's that are above this line. So when we shade, in this case, I'll get a different color here. We're going to shade this entire area like this. And it's all of this is the answer. We shade like I have here, yes. We're going to shade the entire area. Okay? And that's the answer to this problem. So when we're graphing ones that have two variables like this, where we get it in slope intercept form, we're going to shade a great big area when we get done. All right? Let's do another one. Number two. Let's say that we have x plus 5y. is less than or equal to 10. Same thing. We need to solve it for y first. So let's do some basic algebra. Solve it for y first. So we'll subtract x from both sides. That leaves us with 5y is less than or equal to negative x plus 10. And we need to divide everything by 5. So we divide everything by 5. We did not divide by negative this time. So we do not flip our inequality. It's y is less than or equal to, now what's my slope on this one? Very good. Negative 1 fifth x plus 2. So here's my slope. Here's my y-intercept. Remember, we usually use the letters m and b for that. And this time, we're going to use a solid line because it's less than or equal to. So we make our graph. We start at the y-intercept of 2. And my slope is negative this time. So I need to go down one and over one, two, three, four, five to get my next point. And it is a solid line, like we said. Solid line this time. And because it's less than or equal to, we shade below. All right? And that whole area down there is our answer. We have one more situation that we haven't covered, and that's if you run into, this one's a little bit shorter and faster, That's if you run into a problem where there's only one variable. If you look at this problem, 3x plus 5 is less than 14, there's no y. This should be a clue. When we worked with linears, we found out that this is a vertical line. When there's no y in the equation, this line is vertical. So we just solve it for x, which is real easy. Subtract 5. 3x is less than 9. Divide everything by 3. x is less than 3. So we make a vertical line. through 3, but it needs to be a dashed line because it was just less than, so we just make a dashed line. 
And because it is less than, I'm going to shade to the left of that vertical line. But it's, I'm still shading the big area like that. Now, I don't, I'm not going to do one more, but I just want to remind you, if you see a problem that only has a Y in it, like Y minus 7 is greater than 10, there's no X, is there? This one's horizontal. All right, that's a horizontal line, and you do it the same way, shade above or below. All right, here I would add 7, I would add 7, and I'd have y is greater than 17. So I'd make a horizontal line through 17, and I would shade above that. Okay, you run into a horizontal line situation. And we'll stop there for today.